All right, guys. Here goes. We're gonna get a little personal today. Um, past couple of days, you know, I haven't really put out any content, recorded anything, I haven't recorded any reactions since I think, I think Monday. If I'm not, if I'm, uh, yeah, I think Monday. Today is Thursday. Um, and there's a reason for that. I know you guys saw me put out a video the other day. Um, talking about my friend and unfortunately that friend at least I don't want to put it you know his business out there like that you know so I'm not even I'm not gonna say no names or anything like that just know that this is a friend okay friend that is very close to me is not my best friend or anything like that just a friend because i've you know i've learned over the years that you know it's good to have you know friends best friends or whatever but how many you know <laughs> you know what i mean how many people can you really call your best friend you know i help my friends out from time to time i do um this particular friend you know has been one of those people who i know i can call to talk to at any time you know even if i don't get him he'll give me a call back um you know there's there's reasons why i don't call him a best friend there's reasons why I don't call him a best friend. We've had we've had falling outs in the past, you know. We share different philosophies um, about life and stuff like that. But beyond all of that, we're still friends, right? I just don't consider him to be a best friend, you know. Um, so. Let me get to the meat of the matter. So you guys hear the circumstances that I explained in that video. Um, if you have not seen that video, I'm not going to spend any time, but I'm just going to go over it. Just a quick summary of what was going on. He basically, he lives in a house with somebody. He's renting a room in a house, right? Um, it's not a lease agreement, right? If you guys know what I'm talking about. It's not a lease agreement. He's basically paying um, on a monthly basis. He pays rent on a monthly basis. Now, because of the COVID-19 situation, right, because of a COVID, because of the virus, right, he didn't necessarily lose his job. He was on furlough. I don't know if you guys know what furlough is. So furlough when you're on furlough basically it allows you as an employee right it allows you to be able to file for unemployment and but you haven't lost your job you get what i'm saying you haven't been laid off it's kind of like being laid off and furlough is kind of like in the same category but one kind of states that you can get your job back it's kind of like the emergency part of employment you get what i'm saying so it's kind of weird you guys can look it up if you want um furlough you know what i'm saying i think it's spelled f-u-r-l-o-u-g-h i think um so in those terms he he will get his job back if things get back to normal right his job has not fired him so or laid him off but in times like these where there are only essential jobs available, right? Which are not really available. You get what I'm saying? Because it's not even like first come, first serve. It's more of, um, what do you want to call it? It's more of like system backup. Because remember, people are constantly applying for jobs throughout you know what I'm saying? Throughout, um, before the virus hit, hit right? If 
people are always constantly looking for jobs. So they have applications on deck. They have people on deck that have been waiting to get jobs and stuff like that, you know, more recent. So it's got, it makes it hard for them to hire anybody that walks up and be like, yo, are you hiring on the spot? I need a job, blah, 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 because he went through this process. This is what he's telling me. So for the past couple of days, I've really just been sitting down with him because it's coming up. Today is the last day of the month and he doesn't know what he's going to do. Now, I have helped him out. Right. I have helped him out. And I told him he has to make plans to to leave. I also tell him, I said, if you can find somewhere else to live, because you can't live with these people anymore. They obviously don't care about you. Right. They obviously don't give a shit about you. There's no reason I don't feel I'm not going to give them my money. So that you can stay here in this situation. It's better if you move. I'm giving you enough money. You can decide. Right. You can decide what you want to do with the money. You can stay. But my thing is. This is the advice that I gave him. Is to leave. Right. Tell him to find somewhere else. I know he's probably going to choose to stay. Because of what's happening. Right. I said, for the most part, the most time you should spend here is another month. Prepare to leave. Find a way to get out of this situation. It is not healthy. It is not good for you to live with people like this anymore. Like he's telling me everything that is going on. And I'm like, how can you possibly been in this place for three years but i do understand because the thing about it is this guys like for me i've been in similar situation if you guys have never seen my video where i talked about um when i was homeless in new york and stuff like that i've been in a situation where you're living with someone who does not like you but it's kind of like they have to live with you until they have the power to get rid of you you get rid of, you, you get you get what I'm saying. People are I, I I don't even know how to say this, you know. I, I don't wanna be on here and get teary eyed and stuff like this over this situation because it's it's breaking me. And as I said, this is not even somebody that I consider a best friend. I'm just I'm just kind of looking at humanity from a standpoint. You know, and wondering like today, my my mom called me and I'm telling her about the situation. I started to cry because I'm like, I just don't I, I, I don't understand. Why is it that people got to be like that? Even in a time like this, people can still be. So. You know, not understanding of another person's situation. Now, the situation is this or the excuse that the landlord is given is not necessarily an excuse. There's some truth to it. You know, it's basically that, oh, they, they can't put their bills on hold. You know, I they need to rent out the room if he can't pay the rent. They can't put their bills on hold. You know. And. And that's understanding, you know, I personally went to talk to the landlord to hear them out, to hear what the issue is, uh, to find out why is it that they can't understand that this, that this young man is, is not that he's choosing not to pay. You know what I'm saying? With the pandemic going on, this isn't, this is a, a this is an issue that he cannot really take himself out of you know what i mean like it's kind of like you're stuck in a situation that you can't help yourself like what are you supposed to do i can understand if everything was normal and you know it's been a couple of months you know what i mean like he's paid he his rent is up to date you get what i'm saying but for the month of april 
he he, he still holds them like a hundred dollars right because he gave them everything he's not he's not eating he doesn't have any money to to eat so he's basically like just sitting at the house just you know thank god they're not cutting off his internet and stuff like this you know what i'm saying he got his own internet but comcast is not um cutting off anybody's internet regardless of if they don't pay or pay whatever the situation is they're not going to cut off your internet so you'll still have internet you might have lower speeds but they're not cutting off anybody's internet at this time because they know that's a very essential thing right now you know what i'm saying so there's no pressure there for him so he still can look for jobs do whatever he needs to do over the internet keep up with news all that stuff entertainment whatever it is right so at least he still has that. So as I said, I had this conversation with the landlord, you know what I'm saying? They were, you know, it's two women. And I didn't say, I'm not saying that to say, you know, women or whatever, you know, a situation is, but um, the way how they were speaking to, to me, I can imagine what he's going through because they were treating me as if I live there. I'm like, I don't live here. You don't have to come at me like I'm trying to attack you because I'm not. I'm just trying to understand the situation because this guy is my friend. He called me with nothing short of tears. I'm just trying to understand the situation because he really doesn't have anybody else down here. You know what I'm saying? Like all his family is in different states and, and, and all this other stuff. And basically, he considers me to be a, a close friend that he could call and ask for help. He has nobody else that he can ask. No family, no nothing. And furthermore, he doesn't want to have family because his family is trying to survive just like everybody else. And that, trust me, I can understand that. You get what I'm saying? So, if he doesn't have any more money and he gave you all of it, you know, there's no sympathy, no nothing. I mean, now they're telling, they're, they're basically, te they're, um, she basically told me that if he doesn't pay them what he owes by the first, which is tomorrow, they're going to kick him out. And I'm like, kick him out? Where is he supposed to go? <laughs> Where is he supposed to go? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the thing about it is this. Like, my girl has a huge problem with visitors. So it's kind of hard for me to offer him something right now. She, she has a huge problem with visitors or people that she doesn't really know. You get what I'm saying? I did offer it to him and tell him, you can come stay with me. You know what I'm saying? I discussed it with my significant other. You know what I'm saying? I, dis I discussed it with her. And, you know, she was very reluctant because when you've had an experience, a traumatic experience with people that you've lived with in the past, it's very, 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 very hard for you to just intake people because you, when you don't know them. You get what I'm saying? I know him, but in certain, in other certain terms, like, you know, when I said it to him and I told him, I said, you know, I'll talk to her, but she's like, but he's like to me because he knows her. Cause I've told him about her, you know, in the past and stuff like that. And he said to me, man, I don't know if that's a good idea, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause you've told me that she's this and she's that, you know what I'm saying? How she feels about certain things and blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be in that situation and I can totally understand that, you know, but this is, it's, it's heartbreaking for me. I haven't really felt up to it to really do reactions on the channel because of this situation that I'm dealing with, um, because it's every day there's no there's no escape because i i have to constantly be talking to him because i don't want him to feel abandoned you know what i'm saying and i know you know people might say you know oh, he's a grown man and 
Blase blah. Listen to me, guys. Let me tell you something, man. I was grown, if you want to call it that, when I was homeless. I was grown. And someone helped me. You know, someone helped me. I I don't like when people look at situations when people look at situations like that and make it seem as if grown people don't deserve help. You know what I'm saying? Like that that is so selfish. Grown people can find themselves in situations where they need help. You know? You know, we're not all out here buku rich and all this other stuff. I'm not rich by any means. I'm I, I like to say I'm well to do. You know what I'm saying? I can help myself. You get what I'm saying? I mean, I you you hear me joking about me maybe having to go back to do a nine to five. If this pandemic isn't over in the next six months, I might be seriously considering that. Guys, this is this this ain't this ain't a joke thing that's going on, and I just don't understand why these people are not being reasonable enough to understand. You know, I understand you got bills to pay. You know, it's like oh they they're not gonna stop collecting. That's because you're choosing to pay. Read the news, listen to the news, and know and know what's happening. Which there is a mandate out about this stuff. <laughs> about home owners and all of this other stuff that is going on that there's a relief coming hopefully the second bill gets passed because that's going to help out you know the landlords and the tenants and all of this other stuff the second bill that's going to um relief like tenants and stuff like that from paying rent for a whole for the whole year from i think it was i think it's like from april of this year to April of next year, you know, I'm going to read up more on that to get more details on it, of course, you know, not saying you guys should go out there and listen to the news every day, but try to, to listen to the news at least, you know what I'm saying, at least three times a week, at least three times a week to know what's going on with this thing, so when things get back to normal, you're not like, oh, uh, you know what I mean? So, you know, I'm just making this video to let you guys know why you haven't seen any uploads on the channel for the past couple of days. It's because I'm dealing with this situation and I'm just not in the, I'm not in, I, I can't be, it's not that I can't smile or anything like that. I just don't feel like I should be over here enjoying myself and my buddy is in, 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 in a sense, suffering, you get what I'm saying, um, under somebody who's like this, you know what I mean, so, you know, we can all sit back and, 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 and say certain things, and, and this and that, but you can't say that you're a good person, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, oh, you know, have a good heart, and we watch all this, all these anime and stuff like that. That kind of teaches you in a in in a certain way. Anime, TV shows, and all this stuff that we watch that teaches you, you know, these good qualities that we can have and how we should treat a person versus how we shouldn't. And that's all left up to your decisions and your morality at in itself. But at the same time, there's very simple generic things that I believe that we learn from watching these shows that we could apply in real life. And you guys hear me say all the time that Naruto is not because I grew up with Naruto because I didn't grow up with Naruto. I didn't watch Naruto until I was like 2021 20, when it was like deep into season into the first part of Naruto, right? I started watching Naruto because I saw a video I saw a video of it when Naruto was on was on top of Gamabunta, right, fighting Gara. That that's how I got into Naruto, and then I started watching it from episode one, 
right? I believe at the time I was like 20 or 21 years. I don't remember. I think I was like 20 years old at the time when I first saw Naruto. And I hold it very close to my heart since it's finished because, you know, it taught me so much about being a better person, being selfless. You get what I'm saying? It's one of the reasons why, you know, a lot of people say they don't watch anime for to learn anything. And that's fine. That That's okay. You know what I'm saying? That's your choice, right? So for me, I've just learned a lot of how to treat a person, even if they're not a heart-to-heart friend. If I consider them a part of my life, I should go sometimes above and beyond to help them. You get what I'm saying? Depending on the relationship and what it is about. You get what I'm saying? You have to curtail that into to how you want to portray that friendship. You get what I'm saying? Um, You know, if you don't have money to help your friends, you just don't have it. But if you do, I do think you should help. You get what I mean? So that's just my stance on things when it comes on to that. Um, I've been in that position, man, where being homeless is or even the thought of being homeless for me is scary because I've been there. You get what I'm saying? Like I, I, I've been there. You know what I'm saying? When I think of, when I think about it, or if I remember in the past when it it could have been closed when I was renting and stuff like that, when it could have been close that I might end up homeless. I used to dig in, man. I used to dig in. You know what I'm saying? Dig in. You know, cry myself to sleep sometimes. You know what I mean? And it's it's crazy and it, you may look at me and be like oh you know, he's he's such a beta man listen guys that <laughs> listen man if you're an alpha male out there you understand what i'm talking about cuz it's not about crying is not a weakness man and people think people out here m- probably making it seem like crying is a weakness or something and it's not man we all have emotions you know what i'm saying of course i've held back tears you know what I'm saying? I've tried to help hold back tears. I've successfully held back tears. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to um, be emotional at that point or I don't want to show emotion. Plenty of times when I'm watching these shows, um, I'm tr- I try to hold back tears. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to always be on the camera crying. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, just, I don't want to do that. You know? And that's just my personal decision. To not do that, but sometimes I can't hold it, and it it just gotta flow. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm just saying this to tell you guys, really, 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 what you know, what has been happening for the past couple of days. I've been worried about him because I don't know what he's going to do. You know, so I've helped him out. I've helped him out. Um, so. You know, finally got some time to actually sit down and, you know, tell you guys, you know, I'll give you guys an update about what's going on. Because I know I have not reacted to or even uploaded anything on the channel. I don't have no backed up reactions to to upload or nothing like that. Because um, plus also the Google Drive is not allowing me to upload for some reason. I don't know what happened. I don't know if they're going to shut down my Google Drive because of all that stuff on it. I don't think that's the issue, though, because that's not what they're saying. I'm pretty sure that if that what that's what it is, they would have told me. But that's not what it is. Um, I think what I was checking, it's tell it's basically telling me that I need to buy storage. And I'm like, but it's not full. I think it's a glitch. I think it's a glitch. Um I think it's a glitch because I checked to see if the payment went through and it did, but I think it's, I think it's a glitch. I really do. I I think it's a glitch that's happening with Google right now because they don't have the staff to deal with everything that is going on right now. So some things, sometimes some things are going to mess up that they can't fix immediately. So, you know, and in turn, you know what I'm saying? It worked kind of works in correlation as what I, you know, you still can access the stuff on the Google drive. It's not like they shut down the Google drive because you can still go to the videos and check, 
and still watch the reactions. So it's not like they've shut down the Google Drive or anything like that. So I know it ain't a copyright thing or anything like that. I know it ain't that, right? So that's all I have to say about that. Just know that, you know, I'll keep you guys updated and let you guys know when I'm able to upload on the Google Drive again. Because even if I was supposed to react to anything, it's going to be, it's pretty much at this point, it's only going to be the stuff that I can actually upload to YouTube, like Yu Yu Hakusho, Demon Slayer, all this stuff that I've been trying to upload to YouTube without issues, um, you know, Haikyuu and all this other stuff that I've been trying to, you know, edit down and put on YouTube and stuff like that to kind of help to grow the channel or whatever. Some people are still waiting on the full reactions, I know. I've seen your comments. Don't worry about it. I'm still having issues with the Google Drive, so that's just what it is. Um, I'm stressed. I am stressed, guys. I am stressed. But that's pretty much all I have to say. Hope you guys are doing well, man. Hope you guys are staying indoors. This thing is not slowing down. You know what I'm saying? They're looking to open up. They've, they have opened up some parks and stuff like that around me and stuff like that. But in the bigger scheme of things, this thing is not slowing down. It is looks like it's killing more people. Are, there's more, you know what I'm saying, casualties. There's, you know, there's more um, situations that has happened as in more people are catching the virus, even the essential people out there that are working at the hospitals, the supermarkets, the post office, all of these places that are still open, they're still catching, um, these employees are still catching it. Um, I don't know, I, I think maybe it's gonna get to a point where they shut down every everything, or maybe except not the hospitals. There's also the situation going on with the food that the, the food supply chain might be contaminated and stuff like that because, you know, people were taking precautions when they were preparing the food, but these people started to contract the virus. So it's, ah, uh, there, there's a lot going on, guys. There is a lot going on. So I just don't understand why people just have still in a time like this, just don't, can't understand and comprehend that you putting somebody out of their home right now is not okay. It's just not okay. But I don't know where they're going to find a tenant to come live with them, but I guess people out there is still looking for, for places to rent. I don't know, man. Anyways, thank you guys for listening. If you're listening, if you listen to this whole thing, man, I really do. I appreciate y'all for coming through and show, showing some love, listening to what I have to say. Because I know you guys don't have to watch this update video. But if you did, man, I really do appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Um, as soon as the Google Drive is fixed, I'm going to start uploading again to the Google Drive. All the stuff that, you know, all the backed up stuff and all this other stuff. Hopefully, my friend don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, hopefully he makes up his mind and decide what he wants to do um if he does decide to move i'm probably going to have to help him move it's just you know <laughs> this is what it is put your life at risk you know to help a friend man it's it's, it's great but anyways thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all just know that i'm okay i'm good just want you guys to know that <laughs> I'm okay. I'm good. I'm just a little stressed about this entire situation because I do worry about people who are close to me. So it's like, you know, and furthermore, I've been in that situation. I don't want him to be homeless, you know, so it is what it is, man. So, ah, man, thank you guys so much, man. Hope you guys are having a beautiful, wonderful way. Just stay safe and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.